All right, welcome back to buffaloplus.com. We have a special guest joining us now, Maria Taylor. You're going to be one of the co-hosts for ABC's broadcast of the NFL Draft next Thursday. So much excitement. This is really the first live sporting event that we're going to have. Obviously, some changes, some things going on in the world right now. This is going to be a distraction from that. The draft is going to be held virtually. So what changes can viewers expect, expect from the broadcast portion as well? You know, it's interesting. We just had a meeting about this on Tuesday and kind of walking through, okay, what does it look like now <laughs> after the call is made and who can we see? But, you know, we still have cameras in over 50 different um, draft prospect homes. So that means you'll still be able to see that reaction. Maybe it's a little bit delayed, but we will have a camera there. Um, obviously, not everyone can be in studio together. So Kirk Herbstreet, David Pollack, Desmond Howard, also a part of that College Game Day family, but they'll be coming to you live from their homes. So even then, you might see a little bit of a delay in the conversations that we're having all with one another. But we're still going to have those reactions. I mean, everyone comes for the interview. You want to hear from the draftee, you'll hear that. Obviously, our ABC broadcast, the first time we did that was last year, and we skewed a little bit more towards the storyline of the player. We wanted you to know exactly who that person was and who their family was and what drives them. And we'll still be doing a ton of that on ABC, but we're adding Todd McShay into the fold. So you're going to hear what the team needs on the NFL side are and all of those conversations that are skewing football as well. So it'll be a great mix. And although it's not going to all be in one place, like you're still going to get all of the elements that you've come to know and love. They're just going to be virtually. It's just going to look like a, a Skype or a FaceTime interview with the player or a mom or a dad or a family member, but we've got our cameras everywhere. And so we're going to be ready to roll. I think so many people are just looking forward to having a live sporting event. Now for you, the fact that, you know, you're used to interviewing people, you're face to face, you're right next to one another. You can kind of feed off that energy. Obviously the questions are going to be pretty much the same. You know, how do you feel? What's your reaction? But how much of a difference is it now knowing it's going to be kind of like a, a video chat as opposed to in person. It's so interesting because I've been doing these IG lives lately. And so it's similar, you know, where you're, you don't get to talk to the person right before the camera goes on. And those are like great moments. Usually right when you grab a player after a game or something, I can say something to them like, how do you feel? Or congratulations on the win. Or you'll hear them say something like, man, I can't believe this. And I'll roll that into my question. Like you just said, you can't believe it. Why? And um, you don't have those moments anymore, so you almost have to go straight into it. But the lucky thing for us is having worked in college football, we have a lot of these relationships built. And we've been there with some of these players for three and four years and seen what they were in freshmen from that kid that, you know, didn't do exactly what coach said to the star captain and role model. And we'll be able to have those conversations with them. So you lean on that understanding. But yes, for sure, it will certainly be different. I know this year is going to be an added element too, considering there's the draftathon that's going to be helping out some of the first responders as well as healthcare workers. What is that? And I know it's a new part of it, so I don't know. Like, could you familiarize the viewers with what to expect from that portion of it as well? Yeah, sure. I think it's just a reminder that although we are talking sports and we are in the middle of a draft, and it's something that everyone has come to know and love, that we're also rallying around a nation at the same time. And the NFL is taking, I think, a really big step in reminding people of what is most important during this time. So being able to have the draftathon where people can donate and give to charities and you know really celebrate the fact that everyone's coming together for a greater cause during this draft time is important and i keep telling everyone you know the draft is about it's all about new beginnings so it's a new beginning for the players for a lot of teams it's a new beginning and adding in that new player and so you know we're just trying to kick things off right and find ways to weave sport into what everyone is already going through which is obviously the much bigger picture of dealing with the pandemic right now I know also a part of the draft that maybe we won't get to see up close as much as the, the fashion part of it. I know personally, like I look forward to see what the guys are wearing, the jewelry, the shoes. I know you've been talking to some of the guys on Instagram live. Do you feel like they're still going to bring some of that or is, or is it going to be just a different year? So listen, it's kind of back and forth and it's very player specific. So like Chase Young is like, for sure, if my suit makes it, please believe I will be suited and booted. We're <laughs> like, I was talking to, uh, um, DeAndre Swift today and he said you know what I'll probably have like a really nice Nike sweatsuit on but you know we're sitting at home and I'm on my sofa so it's different and then some guys are just like you know I haven't really even decided yet what I should have on but oh, some guys are still I like what Chase said though he was like it's still my night like I might not be in Vegas but I'm still treating it as if it's my night and I want to dress up and I want to feel good and I just want to celebrate the moment and so I hope that every single guy no matter what they're wearing they feel as though they're celebrating their moment um, I know I'm still going to dress up. 
because it's still draft night. I feel I was never drafted, so every draft night I feel like is my draft night too. <laughs> I, love I love the spirit. You gotta you gotta put it together. Now I know, like you said, it's it's this night that's so important to these guys, the teams, and also I feel like so many people are just looking forward to having this. Not to say that people need a distraction right now, but just to focus on something a little lighter. How much do you think you know so many people are looking forward to something like that? I really, I think so many people are. We've seen it with the reaction to even the Last Dance documentary coming out early on ESPN, chronicling Jordan and the Bulls' last championship. And we're seeing it with the NFL draft. People just saying, yes, finally. And it's something new that we haven't seen yet. And, you know, we just actually tweeted out today that we are taking fan videos. So we want fans to put on their favorite NFL team's gear, um, make a sign or cheer, or do a chant. And we're going to roll that into our broadcast because we really do want everyone to feel like they're still taking part in something special. And that's what it's all about and making sure that we're going through it together and knowing that really sports is nowhere without the fans anyway. So I know that they're going to be a huge rallying cry behind watching this broadcast. And that's why it's so important for us to, you know, get it right and make sure we're serving the fans and providing everything they're used to seeing. Just, it might look a little bit different on draft night. What are you most excited for, for draft night and the coverage? It's always the reactions. Like, I can't wait to see who's in the room with the players, who they run to first. You know, if we're seeing tears from mom, if we're seeing, you know, a scream from dad, I, that's my favorite thing. And now it's going to be like, if they get 10 people in a room and they're all around them and everyone has that same kind of atmosphere, like, I literally can't wait to see that shot. Like, I just want to see highlights of that shot um, from draft night always the best maria thank you so much for joining us and make sure to tune in on thursday on 13 wham at 7 30 we have a let's talk football draft special for maria taylor i'm jenna cottrell thanks for watching